let's see the peak of what we can get. Or fundamental quantity to begin with. Now, I think all of you know what mass is, but just to be sure, let's ask our student here. What is mass? Oh my god, I don't know. Uh, you don't know mass? Nope. <laughs> mass is basically how heavy something is. So mass is a fundamental quantity. It's how so heavy something is. For example, this book, hint, hint, check it out, is, well, not that heavy. So it's only about one kilogram. But then you have the heavier books, like this one, the Holy Bible. And this one is a bit heavier than, you know, this one. And so, um, guess who wrote this book? And now, the thing is, mass is just a measure of how heavy or light something is. And we use kilogram for that. At least the scientists use it for that. So, to light. What is light? I don't have a ruler here. Um, I think this is close to a ruler. So, we have a combing brush, and the length is for here is pretty hefty, about one foot. And the scientists use meters. Time. Time is basically how long something takes seconds. All right, now we get into the trickier stuff. Temperature. Um, I don't think I have enough space for this. But temperature is basically how fast or slow the particle moves in something. Or, using layman's terms or high school dropout terms for short, how hot or cold something is. Alright, and that's a Kelvin. Just like a Celsius, or for those of you who measure in freedom per square eagle, Fahrenheit. Alright, we're speed running this damn table. Alright, now we have a amount, uh, I mean, a amount of substance. This weird substance, just an atom. And so this is just an atomic substance. And so, well, it's any element. It's really anything, any substance. And the unit used for this is mole, which is six times 10 to the 23 atoms, which sounds like a lot of atoms. But remember, atoms are extremely small. So yeah, luminous intensity which is basically just how bright the light is. And that's measured by candela. Ah, yes. <laughs> Sorry. The thing that's powering this board right now, current, flow of electrons. And we use, to measure that, amps. Or, for long, amperes. Let's talk about velocity. Velocity is something you should know. Uh, in a high school dropout term, it's called speed. And look what velocity is. It's d over t. Or in high school dropout terms, how much distance you cover in a set amount of time. Usually we use meters per second for this. But <gasps> watch out! It looks like we're combining two fundamental quantities to do this one. So that means that this is a combined, I mean a derived, a derived quantity. <laughs> so much for abusing my body. So anyway, now let's look at acceleration. Acceleration is how much your velocity increases over time. So basically just the derivative of your velocity, uh, I mean your distance to a time graph. So I'm now here, kind of in low on time here, and acceleration is meters per second squared. How could this be? Well, it's the amount of meters per second you gain per second. Nice. And so it's meter per second times second, which is meter second squared. And now that gets us acceleration. But hmm, we can go further. Now let's combine more. Now, um, what was the statue? I mean, what was the equation that this little man invented? All right, I'm putting them away, boys. That would be force is M A. And now, watch out! A new challenger comes, and it's a fundamental quantity, mass. And we combine that with our acceleration to get kilogram meter over second squared. Man, that's hyped up.
Mm. LRG, now, which uses the jewel, uh, can meet method like warp FD, and now you may have heard of this man called Einstein, sadly we don't have the statue of him, and he invented the, uh, I mean, he discovered the equation e equal mc squared. Well, but we're going to use e equal FD for this one. And now, ha, huh, a new challenge, uh, it's not a new challenger, we already have length in the mix. But anyway, that gives us kilogram over second squared, but dun 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 meter times meter is square meter! Wow! How could it get any better than this? You should know that this is also the jewel, which work uses! And what is work also used in? Power! Power is work over time! That's joules over seconds, which gives us kilogram meter squared over second cubed! Oh my god! It is truly a miracle fossil! But wait! Maybe there's more in the electric. <laughs> Sorry. But anyways, maybe there's more in the electric realm. Let's look at the VIPs, the very important people. So no, also known as voltage, current, and power. All right. So that means that hmm, P is VI, but what if we change it up? Switcheroo, am I right? V is P over I! <gasps> oh my god! Let's look at this! I's a new challenger! Another one from our list! And now, we combine that with power to get kilogram meter squared over second cubed amp! Oh my god! This is truly peak. This is the peak. But wait, there's more. Let's look at Ohm's triangle. Now, I'm not talking about the Lord. Oh God, oh God, get away from it. I'm talking about VIR, also known as VIR. Not very imp important people, but it's certainly a very important ratio. Uh, is this okay, no, we're not thinking about that. This, uh, this triangle is not perfectly divided. Oh, okay. So, V, I, R. Mm. I, actually, R is V over I. So, let's see the peak of what we can get. <gasps> Kilogram meter squared over second cubed and squared. Now, what have you learned from this lesson? Units are cool and derived well, quantities are quantities that use more than one fundamental quantity. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.